When the aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth left Portsmouth Harbour at the start of this week, she was heading out for equipment trials and training. But last night, off the Dorset coast, a Merlin Mark IV helicopter similar to this one crashed during that training. The victim has not been named, but his family has been told. Operating an aircraft from a ship at night, wherever it might be, uh, has enormous challenges. Um, I salute mm -hmm. all av naval aviators in, in their pursuits, and I wouldn't want to be in their place, uh, in the front of that aircraft, operating at night over water. Uh, it's a, a challenging place to be, which is why they are so highly trained. Aircraft tracking shows two Merlin helicopters were operating off the coast of Dorset last night. Both were airborne at 8.40pm. By 8.52, both disappeared from tracking. Just over 30 minutes later, at 9.25, a search and rescue helicopter arrived from Solent Airport. The Prime Minister said, My thoughts are with the family and loved ones during this painful time. I pay tribute to the ship's company, particularly those involved in the search and rescue operation. Two others on board the helicopter were rescued from the sea. The Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier is the Navy's biggest vessel. After years of delays, she entered service in 2020 and is capable of carrying up to 65 aircraft. The Navy has two types of Merlin helicopters, the Mark II and the Mark IV. The Mark IV can lift close to four tonnes, move at speed and fly up to 750 miles. They're often used as air support for the Royal Marines. They do have good safety records. But this incident underlines the dangers the armed forces confront, whether they are on operations or preparing for them. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.